Hello friends, hope all you are fine and doing well. Welcome to our channel SRHVAC. In today's video, we are going to see VRV pipe sizing in VRV system design. Basically, we are going to see de-diking VRV pipe sizing system. Okay, friends, we will take up a small project of diking VRV piping. As you can see, this is the outdoor which is connected to the copper piping and these are all the indoor units. These are the high, high walls and these are the cassette unit, 4x4 cassette unit and this is 2x2 cassette unit. We will do the pipe sizing for this small project so that you can understand easily friend those who have not subscribed our channel please subscribe to get latest videos and updates so you never miss an industrial insight tips and tutorials so friend let's start diking vrb pipe sizing or vrf pipe sizing basically you know the diking has taken the patent of vrv variable refrigerant volume and rest of all the companies are using vrf or vrf pipe designing okay friend the concept remain the same if you do VRV or VRF piping. Okay friends, now we see the Daikin VRV pipe designing. It is divided into three blocks, okay, or three components. First will be from outdoor unit to the refnet. First refnet, the pipe size of outdoor unit to the refnet. Daikin has already given us the chart. We will see this chart. This is the from outdoor unit to the first refnet pipe sizing. This has you will see the second will be friend from refnet to refnet from this refnet to this refnet or from this refnet to this refnet there will be a particular size this is also done with the help of chart the daikin has already provided us the this chart you can see below 150 it will be dia 15.9 and 9.5 it will be the gas size and this is the liquid size below 150 we will use this size then the third component will be from refnet to indoor unit there will be a different pipe sizing this will be according to the ci value okay capacity index value this will be according to the tr and capacity value we will have we have the chart of that one also you can see the daikin company has already provided us the chart okay if, if it is 20 ci means 0.6 tr if it is 25 means 0.8 tr 32 means 1 tr 40 means 1.3 tr 50 means 1.6 tr okay and the pipe sizing will be 12.7 means half 6.4 means quarter we are we are going to use this pipe size for the indoor unit having capacity from 20 to 50 from 63 to 140 we are going to use 15.9 and 9.5 5 by 8 and 3 by 8 for 200 250 400 500 we are going to use this 19 and 22.2 and 28.6 okay and the liquid size will be 9.5 3 by 8 half okay and 5 by 8 15.9 these are the different sizing we are going to use okay so let's see in the project we are going to see the in the project so friend we take up this project and do the pipe sizing for this one we will not start from the top we will start from the bottom one okay so that we can calculate correct so friends we will see the tr of this unit this is cassette four way unit 3.3 tr and the index value is 100 okay so for 100 we are going to see in the chart you can see the 100 ci capacity it will be 15.9 and 9.5 so i am going to put here 15.9 and 9.5 i am going to copy this one and i am going to put here okay and this is 2.6 tr four way cassette and the capacity index is 80 so i am going to put 15.9 and 9.5 i already put it here okay friends hope you understand this one okay now we are going to calculate the capacity index of both of this one so it is 100 and 80 so it will be 180 the total capacity unit will be 180 So I am going to put here 180 and the reference size will be 22. Uh, we will going to take up a different uh, video for this refnet. Okay. We will learn the refnet also. So friend, it is capacity index is 180. So we are going to see the chart from refnet to refnet, from this refnet to this refnet. So from this refnet to this refnet uh, it is 180 it is coming between 150 and 200 so size will be 19.1 and 9.5 so i am going to put 19.1 and 9.5 i am to copy this one and put it here i am going to put 19.1 and 9.5 
so friend this will be 19.1 and 9.5 again we see the what is the capacity this is 1 tr and this is 32 so basically we are going to take 31.25 i'm going to copy this one and i'm going to put here we are going to see the ci value is 32 we are going to see in the chart okay so for 32 it is 32 you can see 12.7 and 6.4 half and quarter okay so i am going to put here that, that size and to copy this one and put it here so it will be 12.7 and 6.4 okay now the total index will be we are 180 plus 31.25 it will be 211.25 okay i am going to put it here basically we have to add the capacity index so it is 200 so the t will be or refinet will be increased to 33 okay friends now we are going to see from refinet to refinet okay from this refinet to this refinet 212 we will see that in the chart that Icon has already given us the pipe sizing chart for this okay friends it will be 202 290 it will be 22.2 .2 and 9.5 so i am going to put it here i am going to copy this one and i am going to put the size it will be 22.2 .2 and 9.5 from this refnet to this refnet the sizing pipe sizing will be 22.9 and 22.2 and 9.5 so i'm going to change here 22.2 and 9.5 okay friend friends now we will going to calculate for this one this is also 3.3 tr and the capacity index is 100 okay so we are going to see the for the capacity in 100 how much 100 will be 15.9 and 9.5 okay so basically we are going to put the okay friends i have put this same size now what is the tr for this is 2 tr this is 63 basically then we are going to take 62.5 okay I have already given the pipe sizing for this one 15.9 and 9.5 okay and the our what will be the ci value and y joint will be 22 only and the ci value will be 100 plus 62 so it will be You have understand up to this one in Daikin VRV pipe sizing okay so the capacity index came around 162.5 so ne next we are going to see in the chart the capacity index 162 it is coming between 150 and 200 so it will be 19.1 and 9.5 so I am going to put 19.1 and 9.5 I have already put it here so I am going to copy this one only okay friends now what is the size of this one this is a one tr high wall unit so i am going to add this one okay and i am going to the pipe sizing for one tr we have already done the for one tr it is 12.7 and 6.4 half and quarter so i am going to copy basically this one and i am going to put this one only now the we have to add this one So I am going to add 
it is 193.75 so I am going to put this value here ok and the y joint will be 22 only hope you understand this one now I am going to add these two values so we will get the CIA capacity index of this y joint ok so I am going to plus 211.25 it is coming 405 the capacity index is coming 405 basically now I am going to copy this one and I am going to put it here and I am going to put 405 and the TIT will be 72 ok and next will be friend it is also 1 TR so I am going to put this one I have put it already and I have to calculate for this one so I am going to copy this one and put it here and I have to calculate for this one plus 31.25 it will be 436.25 I am going to copy and put it here ok friends the capacity index is 1436 we will see in the chart what is the 436 for 436 it will be 422 to 640 so it will be 28.6 and 15.9 the piping size will be this one ok so I am going to copy this one and I am going to put here and I am going to change it 28.6 ok and it will be 15.9 as we have seen in the chart this is 28.6 and 15.9 hope you understand up to this one this Daikin VRV pipe sizing system so the next one is 0.6 the capacity index will be 20 only we have to add this 20 and the pipe sizing will be in the chart we see again for 20 we have 12.7 and 6.4 so I am going to put that one only I am going to copy this one only and I am going to put this one only and the capacity index will also change so I am going to add 20 only 40 and 50 456 ok now what will be the size from this refnet to this refnet we have to call 456 ok so 456 456 it is coming 420 and 640 it will be same so I am going to put the same copper pipe size the gas will be 28.6 and liquid will be 15.9 so I am going to put it here so the next unit is also 20 ok 20 CI this is high wall of 0.6 TR so I am going to copy this one again and I am going to put it here so I am going to increase it by 60-70 ok 76.25 the, the T will be of 72 so friend uh, from this refnet to this refnet the size will remain the same as we have seen in the chart below 640 it will be 28.6 and 15.9 okay so i have put at 28.6 15.9 from this refnet to this refnet for the this three indoor unit we are going to calculate the capacity this is 0.8 means 25 so it will be 12.7 and 6.4 half and quarter the pipe sizing will be of this one so 1.3 this will also will re remain the same it will be 12.7 and 6.4 ok and uh, the CI value will be 40 plus 25 ok 40 plus 25 
okay this will be 65 this is also correct hope you understand up to this one okay friends so friend in the daikin vrv pipe sizing we are going to do the last stage before that we have to calculate this one also this is 65 then we have to add uh, 25 more okay then in 75 85 this will be our 90 unit okay so the reference size will be remain the same it is below 200 so it will be 22 so we are going to calculate the last size so it is 4 6 2 4 7 6 point two five plus ninety it will be five size six point two five okay I'm going to copy this one and I am going to put it here the last y joint will be 72 okay and the pipe sizing will be we are going to see the pipe sizing chart okay we are going to see the outdoor pipe sizing chart okay from 18 to 20 it will be 28.6 and 15.9 okay okay we have already put 28.6 and 15.9 which will be connected to the outdoor unit of of Daikin BRV 20 HP okay so friend it is all about the pipe sizing of Daikin BRV hope you have understand we have uh, we are going to see one side friend you can see this is the header line okay that will connected on the terrace as you can see this pipe is gone this is the insulation on have already have done okay we have holded the pressure and we have re released it we are going to connect to the top header line okay this is the insulation these are the y joint this is you can see this is the y joint this is folded with the help of threading rod this is c channel okay these are properly insulated okay this is done and this is connected to the indoor unit these are the piping copper piping and insulation we have put at a nitrile insulation we have covered this so so no dust or any article these are on the indoor unit which is current if you found this video helpful do not forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button we have lot more content coming up in your way thanks for watching see you in the next one